Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Losing My Virginity. This time it's going to be to Had a Full Boyfriend, which I've been wanting to play for so freaking long, I have no idea why. I just saw it on the homepage of Steam, and I was like, oh my god, I have to play this game, like, so bad. It's, okay, so, what I know about it is basically just, it is a dating sim, but with pigeons or something. So, we're going to go ahead and just play this game and figure out what this is all about. St. Pigeon Nation's... Institute. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. Hmm. Man. Man. Something's gonna be really good. Man Beast. Alright, we got Man Beast. Enter your last name. Man Beast. Man. Least. Man Beast Manliest. Yes, that's gonna be our name. Is man beast manliness okay? Yes. Hadful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Hmm. What do you think? Let's go with no. Configuration saved. Here we go! Oh my god, I'm so excited! St. Pigeon Nation is a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the science, even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nation's. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse bl blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I choose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryuta! Usually you'd have been off, been ready for an hour by now, man beast. Overslept? Guess I overslept. Ryuta Kawara. This rock dove is named Ro Kawara Rayuta. We've been friends ever since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. <laughs> Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer once starvation looms. Thanks, Rayuta. <laughs> Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryuta pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust the atmosphere. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. I'm shit at talking or reading, by the way. Hedeful Boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of pigeon, by pigeon, and for the pigeon. First term. I think we're in 2-3. Two two, Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, every birdie. Er, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. Damn it. No, not right now. Okay. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. Zzz. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? Of course he does. He's a fucking bird. Kazuyaki Nanaki. This quail is Nanaki Kazuyaki. He is a famously so sapor saporific sapor why can't I say this word? Saporific math teacher. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known known as a mathematician. He just goes to show just goes to show. Great minds come in all forms. Ah, oh, sorry, it's a little warm in here. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Oh damn, she's hot as fuck! Sak 
Kuya, what's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. She's clearly a slutty bitch because look at that tail feather. Oh my god. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and will all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Dot dot dot. Shirogane Labelle Sakuya. Labelle. It seems this fan tale is Shirogane Sakuya. His fe his feathers would make anybody proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I'm so fucking open-minded. What the fuck? I need to stop that. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. What What am I? What species am I? Am I a human? Lunch already! Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, do you want something from me? Nageki says dot 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 exclamation point. He looked away. Why are they all men? I keep thinking that it's going to be a sexual interest. Nageki says not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who... I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. Ehehe. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Dot dot dot. He silently returns his gaze to his books. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm manliest man beast, a sophomore. What about you? Your Nageki Fujishiro Fujishiro Nageki Freshman Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. Oh, morning doves are sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Oh, that's weird. Okay, sorry to bother you. He should not be sorry at all. Like, at all. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Shikuyo, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother, after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never seen- you've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a- Oh, he left. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, eavesdrop but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story is behind. Hey! You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I'll try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you la little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. So I'm a girl. Okay, I'm a girl named Manliest Man Beast. I just figured this out. Oh, this fantail pigeon is Sakazaki. Y Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows him. Every birdie. That's so cute. This is so cute. You're man beast, right? How did you... I know everybody here, besides you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sukuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never been through that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. I never would have thought. Aristocrat wannabe, dot dot dot. 
He's an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Mon ami, adieu. Birds can talk, FYI. I just learned this. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty biz business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's your Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there? Why is he sick? Now that I'm thinking about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. <laughs> I'm having fun. Ah. Excuse me? Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping in the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryuta? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird, did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethyl power trifee, Lucio benzen benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Holy shit! D -d -d doctor I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, hmm? No, thank you. What the hell? This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the doc the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with Aspergillus. Asphysicosis or e even worse things, like things you can pronounce. Like AIDS. And I've never even heard him come in the door. Ninja Doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryuta. Kawara from 2 3 was supposed to be in here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. I want to let's play this so bad. Ah, finally out of the den of evil. Rita's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never go. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, <laughs> bird watching. Bird watching? Isn't that just like watching porn if you're a bird? Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always fun to watch the birds hop around. So you would just win if you're a human versus a bird. This is so stupid. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo! This is no pudding for a man. Coo coo! Okasan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. This is Okasan. He doesn't really look like it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool. Okasan. Oh, Koo. Cool. Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Koo! Cool. Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Koo! Cool. But this is not pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squishy and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks normal, like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cuckoo! Spare the jest, young lady. Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> Coo! They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot, dawn. He will. <laughs> Coo! Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. He's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? So weird. <laughs> and so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Er, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then feel free to go home after school. Koo! Okasan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shiragane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were president when you were admitted. Nepotism, ho! 
nepotism ho <laughs> I think it's like nepotism ho but it's like it sounds like nepotism ho didn't don't we get to vote just coming to school is enough for me you have to take care of your mother on your own and all hmm I wonder what I should do join the huh student council track team library staff Who do I want to hang out with? Do I want to hang out with the fucking the annoying dude that's really stuck up? Do I want to hang out with the fucking crazy dude that only coos? Or the library staff, which is going to be that person, that weird person. Let's go with library staff. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend... Math class, gym class, or music class? Let's go to gym. I had to sit out the wing training, but it was fun today. Maybe someday I'll be able to fly, too. There's stats at the top. I feel like I should move the thing. Man Beast leveled up. Vitality increased by 5. So I had 795 vitality, and now I have 800? My wi oh no, I went to 805. My wisdom is 1 and my charisma is 5. I'm on reception duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the 5th floor though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. I'm gonna move this uh, webcam and overlay so you guys can see what the fuck is going on. There we go. All right. There's nobody here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, oh, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Planning to jump off the building? The window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. <gasps> Nageki, when did you... I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as a doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes. Is that a problem? Um. Let's see. You should go outside. No books are nice. No books are nice. They are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? Or why... Yeah. You could read whatever you want. Oh, I'm talking. You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. Touche? You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Oh, I've got to date one of these birds, so i got to decide which bird is the, cool the coolest. Ah, oh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Why do I live outside? Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, hell first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. What should I? Who should I talk to? Talk to... Well, Ryuta's my best friend, so thinking about how I would actually do things... Who the fuck is San? I would talk to Ryuta. Ryuta, let's eat together. Sure, great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch, man beast? Yep, it's a cal calorie M-E. That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. It's a, a great man once said it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryuta. And so I got to eat half of Ryuta's lunch. His cooking is so good. Can we save the calorie M-E in case of a survival situation? Or we can save the calorie M-E in case of a survival situation. This is so fun! I love games like this! Today's an elective day, what should I do? Attend? Alright. So, my vitality is pretty good, my wisdom is not that good. I think I should go to math class. I'm gonna get smart. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm. Maybe you should review the basics a little more, manliest. Yes, sir. Am I getting wisdom? 
Man beast leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Oh my god, I was really stupid to begin with. This is so sexist that it starts out, I'm a girl named Manliest who has one wisdom. Or I imagine you're all aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Rita? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to. Coo! Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You do have a lot of stam stamina, Okasan. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? Like, oh my god. It's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? Oh, that was me. Oops. How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. What? Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody can still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryuta's doing the three-legged race, Okasan's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. I guess I'm thinking about it. Today's the sports festival! I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Okay, so my best friend's doing the three-legged race. What's his face is a crazy person, and I don't really care about going to the first aid tent. So I could just like leave this shit and be like, fuck it? I feel like I would cheerlead because that's what I'd be good at, even though like the guy I, that I don't like is there. So there's something of a crowd around the cheerleaders. I see Sakuya and a brass band? That's overdoing it. I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. You're here! You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from La Belle. Sir, horn preparations are complete, sir. Your orders, sir. Very well, begin. And so the, began, the band began to play. Where did he get these people? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You, join in. Um, okay. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. That's not cheerleading. This is bad, bad fucking translation here. One wrong slip and I'll be laughed I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes. Sakuya's so conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the LaBelle style? The first barrier for all students who make it this far. The midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Ah, uh, I don't think I did too well. Manliest! Yes. Hmm, I don't think you did too badly. Y yes? Not too hmm, nope, sorry, you did badly. <laughs> No! <laughs> Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. Fuck my ass! What the fuck? With the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in the front in the front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, man beast. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clip on the staff room board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. Pidgey Olympics. Pigeon Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look up to him? Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, man beast. What happens if I. Okay. So, yeah, this has been the first part of the game. I really feel like I'm going to do a let's play of this because it's so much fun. But at the same time, I feel kind of bad because, like, I know you, I'm, I'm really bad at, like, reading. 
for some reason. I get like, okay, so this is why I'm bad at reading. I get ahead of myself and I'm always looking just like generally. I'm not actually following the words because I want to be quick and my mind reads faster than I can read aloud so I end up like stuttering and doing stupid shit. So let me know down in the comments if this was like unbearable reading or if you want me to keep going. I'm probably going to keep going anyway and just see how the viewership goes and if you guys are just loathing it. But I had a lot of fun and I love games like this and it's so funny that they're pigeons. I don't understand why but seems fun. So let's save this. Save here. And also preferences. Let's show their human. Can I show their human things? No? Title. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's see if there's anything in the gallery. There's nothing in the gallery yet. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out more of my Losing My Virginity series. Bye!